Hi, and welcome to Cordoba, a city located in Andalusia, the southern region of Spain. It is known for its influences from its Roman, Muslim, Jewish, and Christian past. Cordoba was founded by the Romans in the second century BC and soon became an important center of trade and commerce due to its strategic location on the Guadalquivir River. In the 8th century AD, the city was conquered by the Moors and experienced its golden age. It became one of the most important cities in the world and was the capital of the medieval Emirate of Cordoba. The city had a population of 500,000 and was far ahead of its time with sewage systems, public baths, fountains, toilets, hospitals, and libraries. Today, the city is a popular tourist destination and is known for its rich history and cultural heritage, which still reflects all these influences. We start our tour at the Plaza del Tandia, a significant transportation hub in Córdoba, making it a convenient location to start exploring the city. This square owes its name to the Tendias, the typical market stalls that stood on the square where merchants sold their wares. One of the most striking features of Plaza de la Tandias is the statue of Spanish philosopher Seneca, he was born in Cordoba in 4 BC and was an important figure in Roman politics, serving as an advisor to Emperor Nero. His philosophy was based on the Stoic principles of virtue, happiness, and reason, emphasizing the importance of self-control and introspection to lead a good life. He's often quoted by modern philosophers and writers for his influential and still relevant work This is the Ruento Romano. It was built in the first century BC during the Roman rule of Spain and was originally intended as a significant passage for vehicles and pedestrians over the Guadalquivir River. The bridge has a total length of approximately 820 feet and consists of 16 arches that rest firmly on stone pillars. During the Middle Ages, the Roman Bridge of Cordoba played an important role in the defense of the city, and several towers and gates were built to strengthen it. One of the most remarkable towers is the Torre de la Caraora, 